and an all-new iTeam report. It's a danger some take for granted. Beating the train. TV5 takes you up close and personal. See what happens next. Treacherous tracks. Tonight on TV5 News at 11. All right, many of us have done it. Cross the tracks illegally just before a train goes by. But tonight, local authorities are cracking down and sending out stern warnings. TV5's Randy Wimbley tonight with part one of our Treacherous Trains series. We see it happen all the time, usually turn a blind eye to it, and if we're completely honest, we've probably done it ourselves. I was running late for work. So I thought, okay, it's clear, I can go on through, there's no danger, and so I went. Every day, scores of drivers like Gerald Vinton make their way across railroad tracks in mid-Michigan, showing little to no regard to the flashing lights, down gates, and blaring horns from approaching trains. The I-Team met him while the Saginaw County Sheriff watched for people breaking rail crossing laws. And sure enough, Vincent got a ticket thanks to his impatience. If it's against the law and I broke it, I, I, you know, I, I got to be accountable, so I got to pay, pay the consequences, you know. He was one of the lucky ones. In 10 years, at least 144 people have died in car train collisions in Michigan. The numbers are even more shocking locally. On nine random days between January and November, researchers found 280 drivers crossing railroad tracks while a train was approaching, in some cases, barely getting through. Now the Saginaw County Sheriff's Department is cracking down. Train accidents are so preventable if people would just slow down and take the time to wait for the train uh, like they need to. And that's the lesson Gerald Vinson learned. Slow down and be patient. It could save your life. I thought he was down there far enough that, okay, well, was, I guess I was wrong. Reflecting back, if you've got the gates down, you're not allowed to go through, so I guess you shouldn't go through when there is no gates. Oh, that doggy was in the cute. passenger seat, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, now that we've shown you just how dangerous it can be to cross the tracks at the wrong time. Yeah, you're going to have to tune in tonight at 11 as we actually show you the devastation of a car train collision. See just what happens when the two collide, all new at 11. Right yep. It is a risk many drivers in mid-Michigan take every day trying to beat a train. And tonight the I-Team is giving you an inside look at just how dangerous that can be. TV5's Randy Wembley joins us now with tonight's special report, Treacherous Tracks. Randy. Earlier today we showed you just some of the many people who gun it across railroad tracks every day when the train is fast approaching. Now here's part two of that report where we show you what can happen in the blink of an eye. No one ever thinks it can happen to them. Time and time again, drivers are warned not to cross railroad tracks while a train is approaching. We could list a thousand reasons why you shouldn't do it, but today we're going to show you just one. Not long ago, the I-Team spent a Saturday morning rigging one of our minivans with cameras. We strapped the plastic doll inside and placed it right in the middle of a railroad crossing. With the help of Lake State Railway, we were able to show what really happens in a car train collision. A small crowd gathered as we got everything in order. Nothing could prepare them for what they were about to see. There's a difference from, you know, hearing why you shouldn't do it and actually Seeing, seeing it. Mm -hmm. I hope this is the only time I ever see it. Uh, just a locomotive, a lone locomotive, 22 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And you can see the driver's door, the, pa the driver's side sliding door. Mike Fogelsinger is a train engineer and says the damage would have been much worse if the locomotive were going faster and if there were a full train behind it. If you're the driver of this vehicle, you've sustained some serious injury. And, uh, and maybe even death. The baby in the back seat never had a chance. It's scary to think what would happen if it was really going at normal speed. You know, they have four children, and they would all be in that minivan with me. It's a shame when it happens, and people just don't realize how dangerous it is at these crossings. But now at least one does. Now that you've seen this, any chances you're going to try to beat a train? No. <laughs> I uh, don't think I'll be taking that chance again. But if there's still any risk takers out there, 
let this be a sobering reminder of what can happen when you don't beat the train. Wow, is that ever scary? This must be very difficult for the conductors who witness these crashes. Yeah, it is. One of the guys that I talked to in that story, he says a lot of train conductors actually end up quitting their jobs because they're involved in the deaths of so many people yeah. in these uh, car train collisions. He says the last thing that the train conductors see are a set of eyes just staring at them right before the train hits the car. It's traumatic, I would imagine, yeah. yeah. Randy, thanks.